In this video, I will talk about alias, what it is, and how we use them in queries. Alias is a temporary name that we give to tables or columns. They do not change the data itself and only exist for the duration of the query. Alias helps us to reduce the amount of typing required to enter a query. When we write qu complex queries, using alias makes it easier, generally, or for the most part, makes it easier to read the query. When we, right now, we have not, we're yet to see what joins are or work with multiple tables and aggregate functions, but when we start when we when we go to join and aggregate functions, you'd see how important aliases are in reducing the amount of query or making our query look um, neater. Let's switch over to SQL Server and see how we use alias. Right now, I'm in the master database. I will switch that to the Penguin DB database and print out our penguin table. All right, now let's see how we use alias. Uh, okay. So let's assume we want to print out our penguin ID column and the name column, so something like this. Select penguin ID name from penguin, All right? So we just want to display the penguin ID and, and the name column from our penguin table. But instead of having the column name be penguin ID and name, we want that to be printed out with another name. So let's say we want, instead of having penguin ID, we just want to see ID. And instead of name, we want to see, let's say, we want it to print out as penguin's name or, or name with the N being capital N. How do we do that? So by using alias, we can achieve this. So all we need to do is we select penguin ID and then the keyword that would use it is as ID and we're just going to start with that for now from penguin so let's go through this query so what we're saying is that we want to select the penguin ID column but we want it to be printed as IDs and let's let's make this capital of case. So we, we want to print the penguin underscore ID as ID from penguin. So the, the, this query is the same as the first one. The only thing that we're doing is we're now printing penguin ID as ID. When we run this, now when we look at our result set, now the column name is printed as ID instead of penguin ID. Let's, let's add name to the, to the column. So now let's say select penguin ID as ID and then name as let's say penguin we'll call the name penguin penguins penguins name. Let's just use pen okay, let's say penguin name then from penguin because we, we want to, we want that it's from the penguin table and now let's run this so we have penguin id is now printed as id we have the name which is just name is now printed as penguin name now this does not change our data it doesn't change the original data so if we look at our penguin table we'll see that the 
the, the penguin ID and the penguin name is still what we originally entered into our, our penguin table. But when we print this out, because now we're using the alias, it prints out as whatever alias we choose. Let's try another another one. Let's say we want to print out, uh, let's see, select penguin ID as ID. Name as penguin name as name just with a capital letter and uppercase and let's say sex as just you know and I'm just making up words here so sex is gender and let's go age as my age okay I would say from Penguin. When we run this, so now we have our Penguin ID is just ID name as as name with a capital uppercase N. We have gender, um, sex, which was originally sex, is now printed out as gender, and we have age as my age. And um, you know, right right now because these are very basic queries, you, you really won't see how our using alias helps us to reduce our query, but as we write more complex queries, as we work with multiple tables, which we'll, we will get to, you would see how important and how using, using aliases helps us to make our codes look neater and also readable.